In this video for positive max, we're going to learn about the null set. So the set that contains no elements is called the null set. We have two different symbols that we're using. A zero with a line through it and just empty curly brackets. We must make sure that we do not confuse the two. Okay, it's one or the other. It's not a combination of both. So let's look at some examples. A is the set of days of the week beginning with D. Okay, an example of the null set. B is the set of vowels in the word Y. Okay, again, has no elements, so it's the null set. C is the set of students in the class who are older than the teacher. In most cases, again, this will be the null set. I recommend you choose which symbol you prefer to use and stick with that. Use it all the time. But just be familiar that there are two different symbols for the null set. So let's look at a problem. We want to list the elements of the following sets. So, first of all, we have a is equal to x, where x is a natural number less than 10. So we're going to list the elements. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. x is equal to x, where x is a positive integer less than 0. Okay, so any integers that are less than 0 are negative, so therefore b has no elements, so it is the null set. C is equal to X, where X is a letter in the word district. So we're listing the letters and remembering that even though I appears twice and T appears twice, we only write them down once. So we only list each element once. So C is going to be equal to D, I, S, T, or, and C. And our last example, D is equal to X, where X is the colour of the rainbow. So D is going to be equal to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So, we're just using these examples to see that in some cases we will be able to list the elements of the set, but in others we won't, and in that case it's going to be equal to the null set. For more information visit www.positivemaths.ie You can email us at info.positivemaths.ie or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.